Next up is Tesla Radar. Hello, my name is Martin and I'm talking about Tesla Radar in a very brief talk today. First, a little bit of an introduction about myself. My name is Martin and I'm known for Bluetooth re security research and that is so long ago that I think most of you won't even remember. I'm having a hard time remembering, remembering this too. Um, and this is my 21st consecutive Congress. And of course, I'm a Model 3 owner and that's why I came into this research. So what's the issue? Some Tesla Model 3, uh, some Tesla models always transmit a unique ID via Bluetooth low energy. This is most, uh, most known, the Model 3, and most likely also upcoming models like the Model Y that implement the so-called phone key feature. This is a keyless go kind of technology that doesn't require a key fob but uses your own mobile in order to unlock the car and uh, allows you to drive the car without a key. And this ID that is transmitted continuously is, is required for this phone key feature. So the thing is that this ID does not change over time and you cannot turn it off. So it's a beacon you're driving around that everybody else is able to spot and um, can locate. So anyone can track vehicles without effort and this is, at least in Europe, a privacy issue. And that could facilitate car theft, car crashing. I don't know if you know what that is. A friend brought that up to me. That's when people wait with their cars at intersections and wait for a well-insured car to come around the corner which has no uh, right of way and they just enter the intersection and the car crashes into their car and they make some money out of that. So that could be facilitated with that as well. Of course, speed measurement is something you can use it for and worst of all is that um, it facilitates automated personal observation. So the situation at the moment is I wrote a, a letter to Tesla and, and told them that I believe this is a privacy issue and uh, they replied back uh, very friendly and very professionally that um, they have, um, they, they see that differently and they say that because there's so many automated license plate, plate readers around in the country anyways, so it doesn't really make a, a big difference if they would randomize any identifiers with their cars. So ALPR, that's this license plate reader technology, that is an argument for the USA. It's a lazy excuse, some would say, but in Europe there's at least the GDPR. So <clears throat> if only there was an app for that, I thought, and there was no app that helped uh, addressing this issue. So I did this Android app, which is called Tesla Radar, and it's a little bit like Pokemon Go. <clears throat> it's, um, it has the intention, intention to raise awareness for the issue by spotting all these Teslas that you find when, when you wander around with this app and it transmits it back to the server where a heat map is generated out of the locations of the detected cars. And of course, there's gamification in the app, and of course, this should lead to a situation where Tesla fixes the issue eventually. So please consider to install the app, share your data with the service, collect radar score, and enjoy gamification. And uh, please, please pay attention to the ads. It's a free app, but it's ad supported. And you don't have to be really interested in anything you see. Just give it a try clicking on it. So if you're still not convinced that you should go for the app, you're in very good company. Uh, the guy you see there is Thomas from the Netherlands. He's an electronics engineer and he took it to the next level, in my opinion. He uh, 
installed a Tesla radar station next to a highway in the, in the Netherlands, and he's leading uh, the rankings uh, from then on. So he spotted by himself like 2,000 unique cars in about one month's time. <clears throat> and finally, that's the thank you. You see, it's already 16 different countries, 4,700 and a little bit different cars that have been spotted. And um, I would be really thankful if you joined in. Find me afterwards. I have stickers. And I will most likely hang around at the Telnet assembly. And if you want to talk to me, find me there. Thank you. Thank you.